Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a quick and easy and free way to make uh, color swatches to use with your variants for your options so that on the front end of the website when someone's looking at your um, product, they can pick, uh, they can see the little color swatch like you know, a red color, blue color, whatever, whatever color you decide you want. You can also put a pattern in there um, or whatnot, but this is just one, one way to do it. So um, I was looking for something online that would be easy to create, um, just a very basic file with, and I came up with this Pixlr. Uh, I personally have never used it before today. I, uh, I'm a Photoshop user, but I know most people uh, don't use Photoshop, so I was trying to find something that would be very easy for uh, you guys to use. And so I came up with this. It's a, it's a free program. They also have some paid versions um, that offer you some other, like, features like easily taking out image backgrounds and stuff like that. Uh, you might want to look into it if you are looking for more advanced stuff to do. Um, I, you know, that that's up to you guys. So uh, they have two different versions of their online editor. We're just going to use the Playful Pixlr X. It's just a real basic um, uh, photo editor. You might be able to use it for other things too. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is click Create New. and these are some pre-made sizes that they have that we're not going to use because we don't need a very big image um, for a color swatch. We just need like a 100 by 100 pixel box. And we don't want a, like a huge box to have to load because one of the things that's really important on websites is um, called optimizing your images. And you want your images to be optimized so that they're not like a huge file as in like size wise too big. Like like let's say you have a spot on your website for a 500 by 500 pixel picture. You don't want to load in a 3000 by 3000 sized picture into that box. It'll show up and everything, but it will be slow to load. It will take a lot of space and will slow down how fast your page opens up in the browser. And that's one of the things that the search engines like Google look at is how fast does your page load up? Um, and, it, and you know, the faster it loads up, the higher up in search you'll be. It's as simple as that. I mean, it, it, there's other things that obviously are taken into account, but um, that is one thing that will, uh, you know, that will need to be, you know, you do need, you do need to take, you know, take that into consideration. And also the overall file size, like when it's saved on your computer, um, you don't want to load up a three gig file um, every time somebody loads up a page. That's that's a lot. So. Most of the time I try and keep my files um, under meg, depending on the size. Like if it's gonna be a big, huge, like fill in the whole screen here, I mean, that one might be closer to a meg um, because, a megabyte, because, uh, you know, it has to be big, you want it to look good. But like a little one like this, I mean, I would try and get it under 500K uh, kilobytes. So let's, um, you can name this if you want, if you're gonna, if you're gonna create an account and, and save stuff in here, then I would name this, you know, like color swatch. Um, I'm not gonna be saving this, but uh, you might wanna save it for yourself. So we're gonna, so we're not gonna pick one of these pre-made sizes, we don't need to. Uh, they're all too big for what we're doing. So we're just gonna change the width and the height, we're gonna make a custom one. And it's just gonna be 100 by 100. And then we're gonna press create. And then we're gonna have this like weird checkerboard thing. That's just a uh, transparent layer. So all you need to do is click properties right here, turn on background, and there's some pre-made colors. You can press this white one and you can pick any color you want and it will change the background. So, you know, you can pick a purple, whatever. And these are just, you know, if you want kind of generic colors, I will show you how to pick specific colors from stuff in a minute, but this is just, you know, if you just want a red, you know, you can go to red, go up to red, there you go, um, and you're all done. That's your red. So, you know, this this works for probably most people, if you know, like, kind of, you get pretty kind of close to the color that you want. Um, and then, when you're done with that, all you do is go down here and press save. It'll open up uh, this little window it takes the name that you put in as your main one in there, and then it's it's telling you this is going to be the name .jpg. Um, I suggest for this using JPEG because it has better compression than PNG. 
um, but we can you can also see down here it'll tell you uh, the size so right now it's 0.4 kilobyte if we go to PNG it's still 0.4 but if we go back to JPEG and go to low that eh, still says 0.4 but um, if you have an image with, like you actually have an actual photo, this will make a difference. On here, you know, it's probably not going to make a big, huge difference. But we don't need super high quality for this because, again, it's going to be a tiny little box that shows up. So I'm going to change the name of this to uh, red because that's my red color swatch. And then I'm going to press, and then I have it on the low quality. You could, uh, you know, there's not much difference between low and high size wise, so I guess you could put it on medium. I'm going to press download. And then it should open up and save. I have some other ones I did before. And here's my red, and it's in my folder. I made a folder called Color Swatches. And I'm going to save it. And now if I show this, I think you guys can see this. Um, now there's my red color swatch. And it's 361 bytes, which is a very good size. So... I'm just going to go and over here and show you guys real quick, you know, where to upload it. So you go to options. I'm going to make a new option. This is my test product, by the way, from my other video. I'm going to have to call this option uh, color. And it's going to be a drop down. And I'm going to go over to variants. And I'm going to go position. Call, and then put the color name. If you want a modifier for it, you can add it. Then I'm going to click this extra button right here. And then this is where I can add the photo, um, or the image, I guess, not a photo. And I'm going to click Upload. There's my red. I'm going to double click it. And then I'm going to press Create. And so now if we go and look at my product, again, this is my test one from before, so there's some other stuff going on. But this is the, the option we just made and color red. And then I'm gonna go back real quick and throw in a couple of those other ones so you guys can see it. So I'm gonna do blue and teal. Oops. And blue. and press save so now if we go back and look at my image my product here we have red blue and teal as our options that people can pick and it's got a nice little box there now another thing that people might want to might uh, might be interested in is like let's say you have a product and you don't know what color it is we're going to go back to our oops, go back to our uh, test product from the other one here the lovely earrings let's say you wanted to pick this color in here um, i use the chrome browser on a mac but it's the same extension on pc um, there's a little extension you can get for this called the color pick eyedropper I love this thing. I use it all the time. As a web designer, I use it all the time. Um, it's super handy when I'm trying to pick colors from things that are online. It's a lot faster than what I used to do, which was take a, you know, download the image, open it in Photoshop, and then use the little picker in there. This one I can pick right from there. So it's a free one. Um, you can get it in the Chrome store. It's just called Color Pick Eyedropper. I'll put a link to that in, um, in the description as well. I'm sure there, I, I know there's one for Firefox. I just haven't used Firefox in years, so I don't, I don't know it off the top of my head, but I'm sure there's, if you just look for, uh, you know, eyedropper or color eyedropper or color picker, those are the things you search for, then I'm sure you can find a great one in Firefox. I do not know if, um, I don't know if Internet Explorer has anything or not. I, I haven't used their new browser, the Edge one, I think that's what it's called, because uh, I haven't used PCs in over a decade but um so yeah so let's say back on our earrings here you want this color so once you install the extension there's this little crosshair multicolored thing that pops up and if you click that um you can pick it'll let it kind of um 
just that the box kind of zooms in on what you're looking at so you can get a more precise spot like a specific pixel um, of color and so you don't you just kind of click it there and then it says this little code right here and what this code is, this is called a hex code this is what we use in HTML and CSS to assign colors um, so like a red uh, a red I just know this one because I've been doing it for red is FF let me see if it'll I don't know if it's a little, well, it won't let me do it. But like red is FF0000. Every, uh, every hex code is just uh, six characters and it's a mixture of different ones. So to, take, to get this color that we just picked, we need to highlight this code and copy it. And then if we go back to this Pixlr and click on properties and we click on the white one here, right down here you can put in your hex code. So if we remove that, put it in there and look now it's the color that we picked and so that's how you can get the specific color now one thing I haven't tried yet but I'm curious if we can do this in here um, is and I don't know if I can do this because I'm using my screen capture now so if you have a screen capture software and I'll try this after we're done um, we I should let's see actually we can do this uh, copy copy image. Let's see if we can copy the image and paste it in here. Oh, look, it pasted it in there. That's cool. Um, and then you can move it around and resize it. Um, so like, let's say you wanted to do a color swatch that wasn't just a solid computer generated color. Like let's say you wanted to use, this is your color swatch. Um, let's say we want to do that instead. Let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to save this as like earring teal, even though it's kind of a turquoise. But um, now, see, here's where you can see because I have a picture in here, the file size jumped to 2.5 kilobytes. If we go to medium, it's 1.5. And you can, it should be, it should be updating this to kind of change yeah, a little bit lower. 1.2. I'm going to leave it on low because again, this is small. It's not going to be big. I'm going to press download. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go back to my test product and add a new variant. So we're going to call this one um, Teal Earrings and upload the image. Press save. And if we go back over here, now you can see uh, that this picture is being used instead of one of the, you know, a solid color swatch. So that's kind of a fun one too. Um, so you could do like little, you know, little pictures instead of just solid color.